Hi guys, welcome to TechRapt and here in this tutorial we are going to learn how to unlock bootloader on your Redmi Note 4 and flash custom recovery. So first in order to unlock bootloader we have to submit an unlock bootloader request. We can do this from this link. Click unlock now and login using your uh, me account credentials if you don't have your uh, me account then you can create a new me account from uh, the me ui forum click sign in here and uh, select create me account first select the country and uh, country same india and enter your mobile number and enter this code and uh, create a me account and apply for me unlock so after submitting the request you have to wait for around a uh, week or so if your request has been accepted then uh, you will get an sms to your uh, registered mobile number uh, that you are, ga you are granted unlocking permission you can also check the status from this link same the same link where you applied for uh, unlock permission cen.meui.com slash unlock if, uh, if you are uh, granted unlocking permission then you will be directly getting into this page like download me unlock if you are getting this screen this means that you are granted unlocking permission if you are if your permission got rejected then you will be getting a status that uh, your your uh, application has been rejected maybe there might be many reasons maybe you are inactive on the forum there are uh, several reasons for that so you can reapply for the unlocking permission Go to settings and scroll to the bottom and uh, click about phone. Tap multiple times on the MIUI version and uh, you should see this screen that you are a developer now. So after that click back and uh, go to the additional settings and uh, click on the developer options and enable uh, OEM unlocking, click enable and uh, enable USB debugging click ok and uh, enable this usb debugging security settings so now we are done and uh, now connect the phone to the pc and uh, now navigate to adb and fast food folder on your pc hold shift and uh, right click open command window here and uh, Type ADB devices with the uh, phone connected to your PC via USB cable. There will be a pop up on your Redmi Note 4 uh, asking you to allow the USB debugging. And now uh, select always allow from this computer and click OK. This is very important because uh, you know this establishes a connection between your phone and the computer that, that is very crucial for the fast boot operation so without this unlocking your device is not possible. Considering that you are granted unlocking permission now we have to boot to the fast boot mode. For this first we switch off the device. And uh, press the volume down button and hold it and press the power button release the keys when you feel the vibration so now you are in the fast boot mode you can also do this while the phone is on also you can hold the volume down button and press the power button to get to the fast boot mode so now you are in the fast boot mode and now connect the phone to your uh, PC by using the same USB cable you got with the Redmi Note 4 Open Mi Flash Unlock, agree and uh, enter your uh, Mi account details, uh, preferably your uh, phone number and password. So I'm going to enter my phone number and uh, password. Now the Mi server checks if your uh, Mi account has unlocking permissions and uh, if your uh, Mi account has unlocked permissions then you will be getting into this page. Now what we you have to do is um, you can just follow the on-screen instructions guys it says turn off the phone hold volume down and power button to enter the boot loader or fast boot mode and connect the phone to the PC so we, we are in the fast boot mode and we are going to connect the phone to the PC 
so as soon as uh, you connect the phone to your PC it says that uh, me phone has been connected and the unlock option has been enabled so now I'm going to click the unlock button okay uh, my device is already unlocked so I'm getting this error that uh, I don't need to unlock my device anymore uh, if your me account gets attached to your uh, new redmi note 4 uh, in the server then uh, you'll be able to successfully unlock your device so we have unlocked the device and now we are going to flash the custom recovery which is a TWRP so for this you have to go to this link and uh, download the TWRP recovery for our uh, Redmi Note 4 and you also need to download the lazy flasher file we also need that lazy flasher because uh, the Mi UI version we, are, we have on that our device is encrypted one so if you just unlock the device and uh, flash the custom recovery then you won't be able to boot into your device you might uh, end up in boot loop or uh, your device might just switch off so you have to download both files the first one is the recovery file and the second one is the lazy flasher one so now paste that uh, recovery file and uh, the lazy flasher into the ADB and fastboot uh, toolkit so we are going to just click, copy paste it here and uh, now what we are going to do is uh, boot our phone into the fastboot mode and uh, hold shift and uh, right click and select open command window here type this command to flash recovery so here our recovery name is recovery dash middle so what we are going to do is type fastboot flash recovery recovery name recovery name is recovery middle.img so we have successfully flashed the recovery this is a method we follow to flash the custom recovery. There is also another procedure to temporarily flash or boot the custom recovery. For this, uh, instead of the flash command, we are going to use a boot command. So the command is fast boot recovery name. What's the recovery name is recovery middle.img. So with this command, you will directly boot into the TWRP, although you have a TWRP so now we are in the TWRP recovery now we have to flash that lazy flash of file we, uh, we have to transfer that uh, file from the PC to the phone or also you can use the ADB side, uh, side load option so we can go to the advanced and then click ADB side load here and uh, swipe to start side load and now go to the PC type adb space site row and the name of the lazy flash file right click it and rename copy the name control c and uh, paste it here control b dot zip don't forget to add this dot zip so click enter so now it's going to flash the lazy flash to our phone and uh, it's successful guys uh, successfully flash the lazy flasher so we are done with the custom recovery you can just uh, reboot the device or uh, wipe the device flash new custom roms uh, whatever you want so you can also flash the lazy flasher from the TWRP recovery itself for this uh, first you have to transfer the lazy flasher uh, zip file from the PC to phone and boot to the TWRP recovery and uh, select install and select the lazy flasher file and click swipe to com confirm flash that's it you have flash the lazy flasher so in order to boot to the TWRP recovery you just have to follow the same pattern we have used for fastboot uh, mode for fastboot we have used the volume down plus power button for the TWRP recovery or any other custom recovery or stock recovery we will use uh, volume up and power button which directly boots to the recovery to root your uh, redmi note 4 download this zip file from this link and uh, transfer it to your phone and also download this uh, phz super Sue app from the play store and uh, go back to twrp click install and uh, select the file which is uh, downloaded and transfer to the phone the super user dot zip and swipe to confirm flash TWRP is a 
successfully flash the root files. Now click the wipe cache on Malvik and reboot the system. I hope you guys uh, like the video. If you have any doubts or any queries regarding uh, unlocking bootloader, flashing custom recovery or uh, rooting your device, just leave a comment below in the reply section and uh, I will try to get back as soon as possible. Thanks for watching guys. Click the subscribe button if you are interested in watching many other tips and tutorials on Redmi Note 4 and many other upcoming devices. Thank you guys and uh, take care.